Every year, the Australian Opal Centre at Lightning Ridge hosts a fossil dig in which a group of lucky participants from all walks of life get to experience some pretty unique things, including experiencing opal mining and processing up close with genuine opal miners, spending time with and learning from paleontologists about fossils from 110 million years ago, learning from opal experts, and having the opportunity to search for fossils, both in the field and in prepared and processed fossil bearing material. Over the past seven years, numerous significant discoveries have been made at the Australian Opal Centre's fossil digs. I spoke to paleontologist Dr Phil Bell from the University of New England Armadale about one of the dig's previous discoveries, a bony plate from the first ankylosaurid dinosaur fossil reported in New South Wales. This unassuming little bone was found by two of our diggers in 2016. It came from a uh, an opal shop in town in a box of rough opal and potch. So it was quite an unassuming object but they'd started to develop an eye um, for what is bone and what is not and uh, quietly brought it to me uh, afterwards and said we think we've got a bone Phil and they do indeed. This is the first evidence of a group of dinosaurs called ankylosaurs from New South Wales. Ankylosaurs are the armoured tank-like uh, dinosaurs, things like Ankylosaurus and Euoplocephalus from North America. In Australia we have Minmoi and Cunbarosaurus. This is the first evidence of this group in New South Wales. Uh, it's one of the armour plates that uh, covered the bodies of these beasts and one of the really distinctive features of this bone are the deep grooves or channels and little pits on the ends of those channels. These are uh, spaces for blood vessels that would have covered the bone. Now, if you have a look at the, the bone that makes up something like a, a sheep or, or goat's horn, those bones have the same uh, surface features, grooves and, and pits uh, for blood vessels and a keratinous or horny sheath that, that covers that bone. So we know that this thing would have had a similar uh, horny covering um, and is very distinctive of, of this group of, of animals, of ankylosaurs. So that was a really thrilling find. This video was made with the support and participation of the Australian Opal Centre in Lightning Ridge and special thanks to Dr Phil Bell from the University of New England Armadale. You can follow the Australian Opal Centre on Facebook to keep up with AOC projects and future events. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to IDU Curiosity on YouTube and following along on all the usual social media channels. Thank you for watching.